All right, uh, we got a vacuum leak, and um, let me see. It was P0171, P0174, P0102. The P0171, P0174 are vacuum leaks, bank one, bank two. And the P0102 is the uh, mass airflow sensor code. I was trying to figure this out. Um, I used different techniques to figure this out. It's good now. Um, we should be able to pass smog now, and I'll show you what I what I did to uh, figure out. It was just on green right now. Let's see if it'll go back on green right now with it unplugged. If you don't know, red means it's not going to pass. Yellow means it hasn't gone through its whole checks. Um, and then green's going to indicate that it will currently pass smog. It was just on right now. I don't know what happened. Anyways, um, I'll show you what the problem is and, and, and how I figured it out. I fixed it. So, oh, there it goes. See, it's green now. It's green now. I did all this without um, a smog, fog machine, smog machine, sorry. No, no, smoke machine, what am I talking about? Anyways, sorry, I'm tired. So, um, what year is this? I believe this is a, this is the 4.3 liter. I believe it's like a 2002 or something. I'll leave it in the description, whatever it is. So, like I said, the first thing that I did was there was this check engine light. They need to get it smogged. Um, so, there was P0171, P0174. There was a code. And then there was also uh, another one for EVAP. I, I can't remember what it was right now. But um, we found a leak um, over here. I found a leak over there. Um, the indication for a vacuum leak for me is it, it got, um, the code got set when you look at the, the scanner at, when it's at idle. So if you don't know, when you get a code when you're set at idle, it's usually a vacuum leak. If you get a code for a lean condition when you're driving uh, past 2000 RPMs on the freeway or whatever, and that's when you set a code, usually that's fuel related because you're lacking the fuel and, and when you're goosing it, you need that fuel and something wrong with the fuel pump, something wrong with the restricted fuel pump, bad ground to the fuel pump, bad power valve ground, whatever relating to the fuel pump. That will usually happen when you're not at idle, when you're, uh, you know, trying to haul, haul butt. Um, that was the first indication that's a vacuum leak. I found a vacuum leak right there. We fixed that. That took care of the EVAP because that's part of the EVAP. I set the codes. They drove it around a little. It came back with the P0171, P0174. And then a new code came up, which is a P0102. And the P0102 is for the uh, mass airflow sensor. The next thing I did just to make sure, I just checked power and grounds and checked the signal on this. Everything looked fine. Um, the power had power and ground and everything that it needed. I made sure I cleaned this out a little bit just to um, check. Next thing that I did was uh, I don't have a smoke machine here. So I just sprayed it around the vacuum lines for water, seeing if I could see anything uh, evident, see any leaks or anything. And then uh, the next thing that I did, I didn't see anything that was obvious. Next thing I did was I, I used propane to see if I could... Uh, you could see videos on that. I'll make a video. I don't have one currently about using the propane, but what happens is when you have a vacuum leak at idle and you introduce propane, it's a fuel, and what you'll hear the idle change. So I didn't find anything with any of those. Um, the the what the, what you should really do at this point is use a smoke machine to see if it's leaking from anywhere. Um, even a smoke machine wouldn't indicate the brake booster leaking. But the indication, my first indication for the brake booster leaking is when I started the vehicle and it's running at idle and I push on the brake, the idle changes, the idle drops. When I'm on um, at idle, when I push on the brake, the idle will drop and it fluctuates when you push on the brake. And that's normal to some degree, but when you push on the brake and then you hold in the brake and it continues to drop the idle on a, a mass airflow sensor engine. Um, there's two different type of, not two different type of engines, but there's engines that have mass airflow sensors and there are engines that has MAP, which is manifold absolute pressure sensors. This has mass airflow. I don't know if it has also a MAP, but on a mass airflow sensor, when you, when you push, if you have a vacuum leak, the, the um, RPMs will tend to drop 
when you have a vacuum leap on a, a manifold absolute pressure map engine, speed density engine, the RPMs will go up to, uh, usually when you got a vacuum leak. Anyway, so that's my next indication that I thought it was that. Next thing I did was um, I plug, plugged the line like this and drove it around and, and drove it as far as I knew that last time they drove it when I didn't have this there that the code would come back so they just drove it for a couple of miles and the code did come back well I don't have a smoke machine to, to test this so what I did was I blocked this off and you got to be careful when you're doing this because you're gonna lose your power uh, power brakes you're gonna lose your power brakes and it's gonna be harder for you to push on the brake so that is one thing I don't suggest you doing this I'm just showing you what I did you could do what you want it is dangerous for a little old lady to do this because she's gonna lose her power brakes and it's gonna be harder bro if you're a big burly man and you want to try this you know it's up to you I'm not suggesting you do this I'm just showing you what I did if you don't have a smoke machine you could do this so what I did was I eliminated the brake booster from the whole situation here and I drove it around without that with it like this and to see if the code came back the code did not come back and and in fact if you saw that it was green the light is green that means it could currently pass smog right now but you can't just take this to smog like this you got to replace this brake booster that so that's what this vehicle needs it needs a new brake booster but if you really wanted to get away with it you could clog this up somehow you got to be very very careful you would have to pinch it off down there where they really can't see it or something but you got to be careful doing that. They're going to look at that and they're going to say, what the hell is this? And they're, they're not going to pass you just for the visual inspection. So you got to figure out some way to, to clamp that off without them seeing it or something like that. But like I said, this is a vacuum. It goes into the engine. If you just plug it up or something, it's going to cause a big problem. Anyway, so that's the problem with this car. It has a, a inside there, there's a diaphragm and it's made out of rubber or whatever material it is. And over a certain amount of years in time, it'll cause a hole in it. And that's a difficult vacuum leak to find because even if you put a smoke machine on it, you're not going to see smoke coming out of there until you get into the car and you push on the brake. Anyways, uh, just one of those things uh, that you could do while you're uh, for a do-it-yourselfer. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.